Hello, student. Welcome to one more question from NTA's uh, Vyas app. So let's see this. Uh, this question is from endocrine uh, uh, endocrine system. The question I uh, it's from the chemical control and coordination, the last chapter in learned uh, book, the chapter 22. So let's see uh, the question and let's try to solve it. Okay. So the question says that uh, which of the uh, following is correct about the human endocrine system? And four options have been given. Okay. So let's uh, read one by one. Okay. And try to understand whether the statement given is correct or not correct. Okay. So first they say that hormones are non-nutrient chemical substance. Okay. And that's correct. Okay. It's a non-nutrient chemical substance. Okay. That's true. Okay. And only acts as extracellular substance. Okay, so it acts only as extracellular substance that only has as extracellular messenger and produce in trace amount. So, it produce in trace amount is correct statement. Okay, hormones are produced in uh, trace amount. That's true. But what not is true is that the uh, they have extracellular substance. Okay, and they act as extracellular messenger. Okay, now it acts as extracellular messenger is true when we talk about peptide hormone or let's say non uh, steroidal hormones okay so non steroidal hormones they do not enter inside the cell okay they have a receptor which is located on the cell surface okay so and whereas the steroid hormone they can penetrate the cell okay they can cross the lipid bilayer okay and they have an intracellular receptor okay so therefore this statement is not true this is not true okay now, next, uh, the student says that the pars distalis region of a, a gland, okay, a gland, they didn't give the name. They say that the pars distalis region of a gland situated in the cella trusica, okay, in the situated in the cella trusica, is responsible for secretion of the hormone which induces ovulation. So, first we have to understand that which hormone induces ovulation? It's LH, okay, LH induces ovulation. Now, LH is secreted by which gland, okay, LH is secreted by pituitary gland okay and the pituitary gland is located in as it's given here it's located in the cella trusica okay the spinite bone okay and it has you know neurohypophysis okay and pars distalis of adenohypophysis and the pars distalis of adenohypophysis releases the LH okay which we are uh, seeking for okay so that's true okay then let's see why the statement C and D okay or correct or not so the statement c says that diabetes mellitus is a disorder caused due to decreased secretion of hormone from alpha cells of the islet of langerhans or the pancreas the statement here that the alpha cells are located in uh, in the langers of pancreas this is correct but when you talk about diabetes mellitus okay it's something related with insulin okay now we, we, we even related with insulin okay an insulin hormone is not produced by alpha cells, but instead they are produced by the beta cells. Okay, so beta cells produce insulin. You know that an insulin is responsible for decreasing in blood glucose. Okay, whereas the alpha cells produces glucagon, which basically increases the blood glucose. Okay, so diabetes is because of a disorder in insulin secretion. Okay, right? Insulin secretion activity anyway. Anyway, it's related with insulin, not with the uh, alpha cells okay so it's beta cells so this statement is also not correct okay and the th fourth uh, statement <coughs> statement the fourth statement says that the juxta glomerular cells of the kidney produces steroid hormone okay steroid hormone called erythropoietin okay which stimulate erythropoiesis so erythropoietin stimulates erythropoiesis that's true okay that's exactly true Okay, and this erythropoiesis, of course, produced by the juxta glomerular cells. That's also true. But what not is true is that it's a steroid hormone. It's not a steroid hormone. Instead, it's a peptide hormone. So you can also check your book. It's peptide hormone. Okay, in the book also it's given that the kidney produces, or the juxta glomerular cells of the kidney produces a peptide hormone. Okay, called erythropoietin, which stimulates erythro. So this statement is also wrong. Okay, so the right statement will be B. Okay, the pars distalis region of a gland situated in the cella trusica is responsible for secretion of the hormone which induces 
ovulation. Okay. So that's much for today. Okay. See you in another question. Okay. Have a great time.